I'm Elty Knowles. Welcome to Bet With Al for Saturday, July the 23rd. We're looking at our weekly statistics for the week ending Wednesday, July the 20th. Then we're looking for a track with a high probability of coming out ahead by looking at our percent in the money, percent win rate, percent place. Here we go. Our Kirky with 40 races. We are 53% in the money with 20% win rate and a 23% place. Arlington Park, 32 races. 53% in the money, 19% win rate, and 22% place. And we have a feature where we can simply click on the column header to do a sort on that particular column. Here we go, Prairie Meadows, 81% in the money, 39% win rate, 17% place, Finger Lakes, 77% in the money, 36% win rate, and 16% place. We can do the same thing with any one of these columns. So we can take a look at the percent win rate column. And here we are, Lone Star Park, 47% in money, Fort Erie, 47%, I mean, 47% win rate, Fort Erie, 47% win rate, Indiana Grand, with a 42% win rate. Okay, let's take a look at Indiana Grand race course this week. See if we can find a race with a high probability of coming out ahead by looking at our rankings. And we look for Indiana Grand. Indiana Grand Race Course. We're looking for July the 23rd. And here we are. We're looking for a race with a high probability of coming out ahead. We're looking at the ranking numbers and looking for a gap in the ranking numbers. I, in other words, we're looking for a horse that stands out from the rest of the field. Here we go 22.75, 21, 18, 75. No big gap here. So we're going to skip race number one and go on to race number two. 1975, 16, 14, no big gap here. Um, there is actually a big gap between these three horses and the rest of the field. Let's take a quick look. Race number two is a claimer. The first of 12,000 for three year olds and up. Okay, um, let's keep race number two in mind. And let's go on to race number three. 27, 75, 25, 25, 14, 25. There's a nice big gap between. These two horses and the rest of the field. However, this is a maiden race. This can be seen from these little asterisks, uh, which identify these horses as first time starters. All right, I would like to stay away from maiden races because they are very unpredictable. Race number four, 17, 25, 16, 25, 15. No big up here either, so let's go on uh, to number five. 27.5, 22.75, 17 There's a nice big gap between 5 horse and 7 horse here. It's almost 10 points here. So let's take a quick look at race number 5. Race number 5 is in 7.5 furlong, made in special weight. Uh, purse of 32,000 for 3, 4, and 5 year olds. Um, it's still a maiden race, but. Um, John and Claire, it's, there's a nice big gap between here. So even though it's a main race, that's, there's no first time starter in here. Every one of these horses have had at least one race under their belt. So let's continue with race number six. Keep race number five in mind. 22.75, Um Let's see, there's almost six points here between the one horse and the four horse. Let's take a quick look and see what race number six is all about. Race number six is a six for a long claimer for three year olds and up with uh, Boss for a Storm and in July the 14th with a 75 buy rating uh, at the five and a half for a long distance. All right, we pick Boss for a Storm uh, third. Let's continue with race number seven. 18, 25, 15, 25, 11, 25. No big cap here. So between the three and the four horse, there's seven points. Let's take a quick look at race number seven. It's a mile, it's a claimer, proof of 16, with three olds and up. And we have Crafty Spectre, who ran on the 14th of July, with a 68 by rating at the eight mile. Crafty Spectre. We have the Crafty Spectre on top here. Uh, let's continue and keep this horse race in mind. 
Uh, race number 8, 22, 25, 22, 25, 16. Yeah, it was a nice big cap here, but these two horses are very uh, matched. So I think race number 8 really quick. It's a made special weight. Okay, so let's continue race number 9. Race number 9, 23, 75, and 3.5, 17.5. There's a big cap here uh, of 5 and a quarter. And um, let's see what kind of race this one is. Race number nine is a 250 yards. Okay, this is a quarter horse type of a race. So let's skip race number nine. And this week, let's go to race number five. Race number five, we have eight horses in the race. And we have 27.5 and 17.25 with a nice... 10.25 difference. So this week we are going to go to Indiana Grand Race Course, uh, race five. And for those people that have a premium membership, I'll be doing in-depth analysis. And I hope to see you on the inside at thehorseraceadvantage.com.